In a medical malpractice case, if the defense wants to try and dismiss our claims, why do they have to hire a medical expert to support their claim to dismiss our case? Can't they just use their own doctor to go ahead and use them as an expert? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. At some point during the medical malpractice case, there is a good chance that the defense will try and dismiss our case before we ever get to trial. So now you might think, okay, why can't they use their own doctor as a medical expert to support their request to the judge to dismiss our case saying, hey, judge, Oginski's client doesn't have a valid case. Here's why. Our client says it's because of X, Y, and Z. Can they do that? The answer is yes, they can use it and they will use their own doctor to support their claim to dismiss our case. The defense hires their own medical expert and who says in an affidavit or an affirmation that there is no valid basis for continuing this case. So what do we do in response? We have to have our medical expert prepare a document known as an affidavit or an affirmation to rebut those claims and to explain to the court why there is a valid basis for a case. So now you have competing interests, competing experts. One says there is no valid case, the other one says yes there is a valid case. So now going back to the original question, why can't the defense only rely on their own doctor? Primarily because he's an interested party and what that means is that we are claiming that the doctor did something wrong, that he violated the basic standards of medical care. So of course he's going to say, hey don't blame me, I did nothing wrong. Well that's not enough. The court also wants to see that there's some other expert who now agrees with him and then they look to see what our response is. And many times the judge will turn around and say, listen, I can't decide this. This is now an issue of fact to be decided by the jury. So now I'm going to deny the motion by the defense to dismiss the case and now we'll take it to trial and let the jury decide whether or not we can show that we're more likely right than wrong. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into what goes on in a medical malpractice case here in the state of New York. You know, I recognize you've got questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you've got legal questions, what I encourage you to do is, you know what I'm going to say, right? Pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.